activity 4. This activity will show you how to use the main verbs in the present tense form in the sentences. Here you have some verbs like read, try, wash, fix and go. We will have to use these verbs in sentences. Here you go. Sentence number 1. I read a book. Here we see the subject I is first person singular number and this subject doesn't require any verb with S, E, S or I, E, S in the present form. It is simply the verb with the base form. Read. But we have to be careful. If the subject is like he or she or any other singular subject in the third person then we have to add S, E, S or I, E, S with the main verb in the present tense form. Here the subject is he third person singular number it's a pronoun but it requires a verb in the present tense with S, E, S or I, E, S at the end. The base form of this verb is read but when it is used with a third person singular number like he or she or any other name then the verb requires s e s or i e s at the end reads he reads a book in sentence number two we can see the students try to answer the questions here the subject the students are plural subject and it is in the third person plural number so this subject doesn't require any verb with s or e s or i s at the end it is simply the verb with the base form try but when we use this verb with a singular subject in the third person singular number like nora then we have to add s e s or i e s with the verb here we can see the verb tries. Nora tries to answer the question. The main verb is try. It is the base form of the verb but when it is added with a third person singular number then we have to write like this. Tries. We just remove Y and in place of Y we write IES. Sentence number three. We wash our clothes every day. Again we is a first person plural number subject and it is a pronoun and it doesn't require any verb with i e s or e s or double s it is simply the base form of the verb wash but in the next sentence ahmed washes his clothes every day ahmed is a third person singular number subject and the verb requires s e s or i e s in the present tense form here we can see the verb is added with ES. The main verb or the base form of the verb is wash but when it is with the subject Ahmed it is a third person singular number subject so the verb requires to be added with ES at the end washes. Ahmed washes his clothes every day. Sentence number four. I fix my computer every day so it doesn't require s e s or i e s as the subject is i the first person it doesn't require any addition with the verb but if we see the next sentence the mechanic is the third person singular number just like he or any name ali we can say instead of the mechanic so it is a third person singular number subject and the verb here we can see is added with e s fixes the base form of the verb is fix but when we use it with a singular subject in the third person singular number then it is added with es fixes number five his sons go to school again we can say the subject is plural here his sons so the verb is only the base form of the verb go but in the second sentence we can find your brother goes to school here your brother is a third person singular number subject as if it is he or Ali so the verb here is added with e as at the end the base form of the verb is go but when we use the verb with third person singular number then we have to add e as at the end then it becomes goes making negative sentences using do not or does not. 
here is a rule how to use do not in the sentences to make it negative put do not in front of the base form of the verb if the subject is first person like i we second person you and the plural subjects such as they students people ahmed and ali etc so then we can use do not in front of the base form of the verb there is another rule for using does not in front of the base form of the verb if the subject is third person singular number just like he she it or any single person or a single thing for example ali my student a book a dog etc